Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Mo here. One of the things that I did was I upgraded to a uh, Synology DS218 uh, Plus. So with this, it actually comes with, uh, I believe it was two gigabytes of RAM. And I just wanna show you how you can upgrade easily to 10 gigabytes of RAM. And actually, technically you can actually upgrade to 16, but that would require you to take the unit apart possibly avoid the warranty. So the first thing you gotta do, obviously, is have the saw power down and then uh, go ahead and remove the drives. I don't know if the sequence of these two drives matter or not. You can go and set those aside. Now, if you look down here, and this is gonna be a really short video. If you look down here, this is exactly the completely accessible uh, RAM slot. And the one, the RAM that you're gonna wanna get, I'll go ahead and link down below. Um, I got the cheapest one that I could find that had pretty darn good reviews. And typically you plug these in, you know, you can run some tests and everything and they're probably gonna be okay. But it's going to be the DDR3L, uh, well, DDR3 Sodiums, okay. And the ones that I got are low voltage and that's kind of what's recommended over there as well. But this one is low voltage and also uh, available to run at multiple different voltages as well. So it has more co compatibility. More importantly, this was very reasonably priced and I got it through Amazon and it got sent over here in one day. So in here, you're gonna see that there are uh, two different key, if you're used to installing RAM, this is just, just sliding it right in there. You'll see there's a longer side and a key shorter side here. Just match it just like so. Slide that guy right in there, see that? You gotta, you gotta line the edges there, push it in, and then just snap right in place. And that is basically it as hardware side. There's gonna be two tabs right here, just push those in, and then that's pretty secure, okay? So there shouldn't be any movement. This should be all lined up like that, nice and clean. And that's it. It's, it's almost similar to exactly the way that you install um, memory in a laptop when the RAM is readily available, uh, the RAM slot is readily available once you open it up. Okay, and the other things to do is obviously just go ahead and plug your units back in, and then we'll go back inside the Synology unit and go ahead and configure the RAM, double check that all that got registered okay. All right, so I had just booted up, as you can see, I got total physical memory of 10 gigabytes. That really didn't take very long at all, so. Go ahead and give it a shot, especially if you are going to be running a lot of applications uh, and applets, running, serving other things on here. It might make sense to get some. It might, yeah, it might be overkill, but it certainly doesn't hurt, and it will definitely uh, try to improve performance for memory-intensive things. Okay, that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.